Hi, uh, my name is Nick N9SJA, and today I am reviewing a Android app that connects to Ham Radio Deluxe to remote control your rig. As you can see, I'm using an ICOM IC7600 down below here, and I have a Nexus 7 tablet with the uh, the app running on it. Um, the app is called Pocket RXTX and can be downloaded from the Play Store, the Google Play Store where you get Google Apps and it runs on just about anything. I have it also running on my Samsung Galaxy S3 cell phone and it seems to work pretty well. Um, it certainly looks nice. Um, as you can see right now from the, the transceiver we're on 40 meters 7.173 and you can see that when I move it the VFO on the Android app I'll move that to um, 71.73.21 and you'll see that on the 7600 display we have 7.173.210 um, there's a push to talk button where I can actually push to talk and transmit uh, from the app. Um, I have not yet figured out how to get the audio from the radio. I would imagine it's probably using Skype. That seems to be uh, what you do is you set up a uh, Skype on the PC and you also set up uh, piece, uh, Skype on the uh, Android tablet and it will transmit the audio back to you. But you can remote control most of the features this way. Um, I'm going to pan up here to the main screen here that I'm using for Ham Radio Deluxe. And again, I'll change the VFO again on the Android app. There we go. 7.17300. And you can see that it changed on Hammer Radio Deluxe on the PC as well. So, a, all in all, a, a neat little app, and it's really well done. The buttons are very large on the application so that you can push them easily enough without um, mistakenly hitting the wrong thing. Um, I have noticed that, well, just did it right there. Um, from time to time, um, the connection seems to time out. I'm not real sure what that's about, but uh, if you give it a, usually a second, it comes right back. Um, you'll also notice there's an S meter here, and it's kind of like Ham Radio Deluxe, where it just kind of gives you an average of the incoming signal. Um, this control here uh, that's, that will control the mode, this one right here will let you adjust RF power. There's even a nice little clock here that uh, that you can set the time with. Um, I think it actually syncs with Ham Radio Deluxe, um, so you can use um, the clock there. It does seem to show in uh, UTC times, which is nice because that's how I like to have it displayed. There's a VFO button here that allows you to switch between your VFOs. Um, this function key it works in conjunction with the M keys here at the top which are memories where you can select you can set frequencies that you use all the time and use those M keys to quickly select the different frequencies um, the two large the minus and plus buttons allow you to switch at switch frequency at uh, one kilohertz you know versus the tuning step that you have I think that's adjustable with the app uh, well with the uh, transceiver actually you can change your tuning step there on your transceiver and whatever your larger tuning step would be would be set for the Android app so if I was to hit this you can see it's changing it in one kilohertz steps there's now 7.175 and again it seems a little touchy um, and it disconnects from time to time, but usually it comes right back. And again, I, don't, I haven't experimented with it enough to know why it's doing that. Um, I'll experiment a little more with it later. Um, there's a control for the band. If I select this, it'll ask me to select different 
the different band and it's got 160 through 6 meters listed on here. It's also got 2 meters, 70 centimeters and 23 centimeters as well I see. They're grayed out because obviously this is just an HF only rig and it works, uh, it only runs 160 through 6 meter. But I imagine if you had like an ICOM um, 7000 or something that you had connected to it, um, you'll be able to control that and select the 2 meter or 70 centimeter band. Um, additionally, there's a button for the antenna tuner so that you can tune the radio. Um, and the big blue button down here is the push to talk button. It will change to red when you hit push to talk. And I just did test this. It does work. It transmits my audio out just fine using uh, HRD. So basically to get this to work, you would need to have um, Ham Radio Deluxe installed on your PC. Um, then you also have to run the IP server, which is built in. Um, this particular version of Ham Radio Deluxe is version 5. Actually, this one is version 5.24, so it's a little older. They've actually come out with version 6 now um, that you can buy, and I'm actually contemplating buying it. But if you go to Tools, the option will be here for uh, IP Server. You'll click that, and you'll notice that there's um, a port. The default is 7809, and I would probably just leave that. Um, this is the I IP address of my computer, 192.168.1.200. It's wise if you to set a static IP address on your rig machine if you're going to use this IP server. You'll see that there is um, two check box boxes. One says start server when HRD starts, which this automatically will start this IP server so that you can com communicate to it. And there's another check mark that says same PC connections only. If you have this checked, then the Android app will not function. So make sure you uncheck that. And you just hit OK. Then on the Android tablet, all that you need to do is to start the application. There is inside here a setup. You'll see it in the bottom left here if you hit your menu key. And you'll see right there that it is set for host name and it's got my IP address of my local computer here and the port which is 7809. You click the little set button and then you're in business. So there we go and then it comes up and there you, there you have it. So all in all, um, the uh, total, uh, the, the assessment of this application is um, I'm going to give it a four out of five stars, I would say. Um, it does work. It, it, I like the buttons. The um, layout is really nice. It's pretty simple to set up and to, to use. Um, it seems still a little buggy, and I bet that the developers are probably working on it. But it could be used for um, remotely connecting your HF rig. And pretty much, since it uses Ham Radio Deluxe, if your HF rig is supported by HRD, then um, this application should support it as well. Um, you know, I do plan on playing with it a little more and may, I might post a second video that shows kind of my other um, findings with the application. Um, I also have it running on my Samsung Galaxy S3 cell phone and let's see here, I'll bring that up. Let's see if I can put this in frame where it can be seen. This is the start screen. Initially, what it, what it shows, um, you can see there in the bottom left corner there, it's asking for what the HRD IP server is and the host name, which is the IP address, and the port, which is 7809. All I do is hit start. And then up here, I'll hit the button. And there you go. Connected to HRD. And there you have it. Works kind of the same way. It may take a second for it to sync and have all the settings set. This is in landscape mode. 
back to portrait mode. So I could actually fully control my transceiver from my cellular telephone anywhere in the world. Well, thank